Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 103 and the question is number 2. It reads, a river is 60 metres wide and flows 5 metres per second parallel to its bank. Boat heads straight across at 12 metres per second. Find the resultant speed and direction of the boat after how long and how far downstream will it land. Now, the first thing we're going to do is define my unit vectors as follows. The next thing I'm going to do is draw my sketch of the diagram, or sketch of the motion. So we'll draw our XY plane, or our Cartesian plane. Now I've been thinking about this a bit more, about the best way to think about these relative velocities. So let me, let me try and explain it this way then. So the first thing is, we're told that the river uh, is 60 meters wide and flows 5 meters per second parallel to its bank. So I'm going to say it's flowing at 5 meters in the plus i hat direction. So I'm going to call this V River. And we're told that boat heads straight across at 12 meters per second. So here is 12 meters per second. I'm going to call that V, and I'm not going to say what it is yet. Now, remember if we go back to V... Uh, my bio is all falling apart on me. So V, A, B. All right, mathematically that's very easy. That means v of a minus vb. And what does that physically mean? That physically means if b is at rest or if b feels or it wants to feel that it is stationary then what speed or velocity will the vector a have if b, uh, if b wants to be in a frame of reference of being at rest? Alright? So vab means that b is at rest and A is moving. So if you think about your river, if your river wasn't flowing, if it was like a lake and you went straight across it, if you will say, if you, uh, if you went straight across it on a boat, well then you would literally w go straight across it. So if the, bo if the river is stationary, you will, you will go straight across the river. And what situation does that correspond to here? It corresponds to the situation where the river is at rest and the boat is moving. All right. Now, if it's going straight across like that, that means this one is VBR. So, like I said, just to explain that once more, this uh, VAB means V, the velocity of A relative to B, where B is in the frame of reference of being stationary. And if the river is stationary, I will be able to go straight across it. So it's only when it's V. B, R, that we're able to go straight across, where the river is stationary, the, the velocity of the river is zero, and then the boat will be able to go straight across it. So that's V, B, R. Of course, we all know that if I actually got in the boat and went across, I would go a, a direction, something like that, which is what the boat actually does, and I'm going to call that V, B. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is uh, put in any other information that we have. We don't have any other information. So we know that VBR is equal to VB minus VR. All right. Now, what do we know? We know that the VBR is equal to 12 J hat. VB is unknown. And VR is equal to 5 I hat. Therefore, VB is equal to 12 or excuse me, 5 i hat plus 12 j hat meters per second. All right. So we need to get the magnitude of that vector there. So the magnitude of the vector b is equal to the square root. All right, remember this corresponds to a right triangle. So we have 5 squared plus 12 squared, which turns out to be the square root of 169, which turns out to be 13. So that's the magnitude of it. And then to get, uh, then excuse me, to get the direction. Now we know that this is plus i hat plus j hat. Therefore, it is in the the uh, the first quadrant, like so. So this is v b. We know that v b is made up of two vectors, v b sub x and v b sub y. The two vectors, which when added together, make that vector. So they are this one and this one. This is v sub or v b sub y, v b sub x. And that's equal to 5, this is equal to 
12. So this is the angle here, theta. Then of course tan theta is equal to 12 over 5. So you could say that theta, you could say that theta is equal to the inverse tan of 12 over 5 is equal to the arc tan of 12 over 5. Arc tan and inverse tan are the same thing. And theta, if you just plug that into your calculator, so press shift tan for inverse tan 5 to, or 12 divided by 5, excuse me. And we get 67.38. So we'll say approximately 67 degrees. So is there anything else we're asked to find? Find the resultant speed, we have that, and the direction. Remember, of course, while this is the velocity vector, the speed is the magnitude of that vector, so the speed is 13 meters per second. And we're asked to find after how long and how far downstream will it land. So what we need to find is, just let me think there now for a second, how long and how far down, downstream will it land. So what we need to find is how long will it take for this, if it's going across the, uh, it's going across the river. Just let me take note of something here, 5 I hat. So VB is equal to 5 I hat plus 12 J hat and the magnitude of VB is equal to 13. Now I'm just going to rub out what we don't need here just to finish off this question. Alright, so the, the next thing we need to know is of course the bank is parallel, the opposite side is parallel to it like that and we're given that it is 60 meters wide so it's 60 meters from here to here now, the vector, which we'll say goes that direction, is the j-hat unit vector here, 12. So what we need is, the, the velocity in the j-direction is 12, alright? And the distance, well, that's equal to v, the distance is equal to 60, alright? So we know, of course, distance is equal to speed by time. Therefore, time is equal to distance over speed, is equal to 60, or 60 over 12, is equal to 5 seconds. So it'll take 5 seconds using this velocity vector for the for the boat to move 60 units in the j hat unit vector direction plus j hat unit vector direction. So I'm just going to check this at the back of the book. So we're on 4b question 2. 13 is correct, 67 was correct, 5 seconds is correct and 20 meters, what was that again? How far down downstream? Okay, so how far downstream? So if it took five seconds to cross the river, that was in the J hat direction. So it's five seconds multiplied by the I hat direction, which is five units. So it's 25 meters downstream. So it's 25 meters in the I hat unit vector direction, and that's correct. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.